Now we have some breaking news coming in from Haryana and this is a development of that new violence. The Sarv Hindu Samaj community group has called for a Mahapanchayat in Nu near a village on Nu Palwal border to discuss the preparations for resuming the Braj Mandal Dharmic Yatra which was disrupted on July 31st after stone pelting and clashes broke out in the area. Now, leaders of the group said on Saturday that they plan to resume the procession on August 28th from Nihar village in Nu. So, this is a big breaking news coming in about that Nu violence. And what we know about this is that the Sarv Hindu Samaj community group has now called for a Maha Panchayat in Nu near a village on Nu Palwal border to discuss the preparations for resuming the Braj Mandal Dharmic Yatra which was disrupted because of the stone pelting and clashes that broke out in that particular area and leaders of the group have now said that on Saturday that they are planning to resume the procession on August 28th from Nalhar village in Nu so they are certainly planning to resume their procession that was disrupted because of the stone pelting and clashes that broke out in that particular area and now they are planning to resume their procession uh, uh, to give us more details on this particular development I have seen in News 18's Nikhil Lakhwani joining me on the phone line Nikhil a very good morning to you what more details do you have on this so, Sakshi, we are currently reporting from the Nu Palwal border where the Mahapanchayat is currently under which has been called by many of the Hindu outfits who are, who are a part of the uh, local region and at the same time they have a couple of demand but what we do know is that they are upset with the fact that how the Hindu side were victimized on 31st of July when the violence broke out in the Nu district and how for about 6 hours uh, they were trapped in some way or the other and the administration and the police department as well they left them with no support from the side of the administration so correctly uh, we are showing you the visual from the side of the Mahapanchayat so many of the leaders from nearby four to five villages they have gathered here and these are the people of the Nu, Balbal, Sona and uh, other parts of the Haryana uh, state wherein they have gathered and they are going to further discuss as to how exactly they are going to move because many of the people, many of the workers from the Hindu outfit side as well, they have been arrested by the police administration. So they are using this opportunity to show their anger. At the same time, they are also holding a discussion if in the near coming days they can carry out or complete the yatra which was being carried out on the 31st of July when the violence broke out. So this is not the first time when the Mahapanchayat is underway. We have seen a couple of times, in fact, not just in the new district, Sakshi, but also in Gurugram as well. We have seen that many of the Mahapanchayats have uh, taken place, many of the heads of the local community, they have expressed their anger. On one side, they are angry with the fact that their people have been arrested. On the other side, they are applauding the fact of the government, how the bulldozer action took place, particularly in the new district. So now we need to see as to what exactly is going uh, uh, to come out from this particular Mahapanchayat and how exactly it is going to become another challenge for the law uh, administration because they have to make sure at the same time that the law and order situation continues to smoothly prevail in the entire Haryana region. So this is the update currently coming in from the new, new Palwal border where the Mahapanchayat is under. Nikhil, I can understand there is a lot of uh, uh, background noise coming in but if you can could quickly walk us to what exactly is the situation there because we are expecting that normal have already been maintained since they are planning to resume the procession. Well, uh, while I speak, I, I would urge my camera person Arpit said to show you the visuals from around uh, this particular place where the Mahapanchayat is underway. And many of the people have already gathered here, and these are the workers, these are the people, members of the Hindu outfit who have come here from different parts. But if we talk about the situation, Sakshi, it is uh, by and large very much peaceful. Many of the relaxation have already been given in the curfew, uh, which is uh, you know which was imposed by the district administration. So the normalcy have almost returned but the investigation continues to take place. There were SITs which were formed by the police administration and now many of the arrests have taken place not just from the Hindu side but also from the other side as well. So uh, each of them have their own reasons to uh, display their anger but the Mahapanchayats are being organized in particular to send out a message to the government that 
they are upset with the fact that their people as well, the majority of the Hindu people as well, they have been arrested. And also at the same time, the important point is, are they also going to discuss about the completion of the Yatra, which is set to take place in the coming days in the new district? Because if it takes place, it is going to yet again become another challenge for the district administration. Well, Nikhil, since you are talking about the completion of the Yatra as well and what we are uh, learning is that they are going to resume their procession from Nalhar, if I am not wrong. Could you give us more details about is that area also vulnerable of clashes and violence that perhaps might break out if they resume their uh, procession? Well, uh, given the history that we have seen in the uh, past few days in the Haryana state, every district is sensitive in nature and every place uh, uh, is something where the additional deployment have been placed in by the uh, local police admi administration and also there are various agencies who are currently working in coordination to make the situation even peaceful because uh, the Mahapanchas which are happening of this sort, this could also trigger another set of, uh, you know, uh, unrest in the region. So this is the reason why a clear -cut direction was also given out from the Supreme Court where the directions were issued that no hate speech in that sense uh, should come out from any of the Mahapanchas which is going to take place. Although the comment of the Supreme Court uh, were in context to the Manesar Mahapanchas which was immediately held after the violence which broke out on 31st of July. But there are different places where the Mahapanchas are continuously taking place as mentioned earlier as well not just in the new district not just in the Manisa but also the Gurugram and other uh, villages as well where the Panchayas are taking place and this is how they are expressing their anger with the government in particular with the state government with the police administration and how exactly the police left them uh, to their uh, you know particular situation at the time when the violence broke out on 31st of July because the allegation which they are making is that close to six to eight hours is something for which the Hindu side were left helpless in the new district in particular. So now they are going to make another plan as to how exactly they are going to take things further because at the same time they want the release of the people who have been arrested from uh, their side. On the other side, they are also mulling over the fact, Sakshi, they are also discussing over the fact, is the Kalash Yatra or any of the other Yatra also to be carried out in the coming days. But nothing uh, concrete has been decided yet. So these are the couple of agendas which are going to be discussed okay. among other okay. things is also uh, what you have rightly mentioned again and Nikhil, again. I'm really sorry I'll have to interrupt you over there because we are quickly uh, shifting our focus to